What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys on the channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played against West Ham guys. So yes guys let's get into today's video we made four changes from the last game against Wolves talk about the starting 11 so we started with De Gea, Young, McTominay, Smalling, Lindelof, Shaw, Fellaini, Matic, Pogba, Lukaku and Martial. Diving into my overall reaction straight away. Another loss, another defeat, more points being dropped. I don't know how to describe this at the minute. We're playing shocking football. The quality is awful. We're not enthusiastic in these games whatsoever. There's practically no desire. There's no energy in the squad. It looks like that practically the players are not asked coming into these games which really frustrates me and really annoys me. This game showed me that we were capable of playing football, but at the same time, it was just paint dry. Just not much was happening. The crosses were awful. We're not clinical in front of goal. Not many chances were created. It just goes to show that we're playing absolutely shocking football recently. And again, we're underestimating these teams. We're not winning games. It's just getting out of hand now. And as you can see, from the title from this video, is it time that Mourinho should get the sack? Now, there's going to be a load of people saying, keep him on and stuff like that. The fans back him and stuff like that. I, I honestly don't back him because we're not playing at our standards. Manchester United don't play like Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. We don't play like them. We're coming into these games, we're underestimating teams, which really frustrates and annoys me. Coming into this game, I felt not obviously confident, because obviously we lost that, the last game. We still can't find a team spirit in the team. We're making multiple changes all the time. What I don't understand is, we win the Burnley game and the Watford game. Now, Mourinho knew that he had to win the Burnley game, unless he was going to get the sack. He wins that game, and then he wins the following game. So everyone would have thought like, okay, the Tottenham game was like a blip. Now to me, it's more than a blip because we're coming off, we're dropping so many points now and we are not beating teams like West Ham. I know West Ham are a very good side. That is managed by Manuel Pellegrini. Uh, they've got some great players now. I know they've been playing well in the, re in the last recent weeks, but at the end of the day, we should be putting teams to bed like West Ham. West Ham have been conceding too many goals recently. We have as well. It just seems like to me that we're not up for these games. It looks like, to me, they're just chilling on the beach. They're not getting out of that chilling vibe going onto the football pitch and playing football. There's no quality in the team. Yeah, I'm just really stuck for words at the minute because the way how we're playing at the minute, it's just shocking football. The question is, you guys are going to be asking me questions. What would you do now, Brett? Would you get rid of Mourinho or would you keep him as manager at Manchester United? Well, a load of fans are still backing Jose Mourinho to stay at the club. I don't really want him to stay at the club because the more this carries on, the worse United are just going to get. His tactics haven't been paying off. We're all over the place at the minute. And I don't know why Ed Woodward has given Jose Mourinho so many chances to keep his job as a Manchester United manager. I don't know why he's giving him so many chances. Because if I was Ed Woodward at the minute, I would say, right, get out of this club. We're not hitting our expectations. We're not winning games. And we're losing every single game that we come across. It's just getting out of hand now. I'm just stuck for words. We, we're playing poorly. We're playing awful football. We can't score goals for fun. Stuck for words, uh, mixed emotions at the minute. But the way how we're playing, we're not going to be getting results that we want. We're dropping out on so many points. We're currently sitting 10th in the table. How do we change this? I don't know. I'm stuck for words. Mourinho and his tactics are not paying off. He needs to be starting to look at Michael Carrick and his team to change it. We're playing awful football at the minute. The way we carry on right now, we're not going to be getting results. But at the end of the day, we're playing shocking football. It needs to change. I'm just going to read a couple of things off the iPad, really. In the first half, West Ham started well. 
uh, West Ham were determined. They played with a high intensity and high energy. They had players putting the pressure on left, right and centre. They were putting the pressure on. West Ham immediately scored within the first four minutes of the game. Defence, again, just poor. We're all over the place defensive-wise. Was it offside? I think it was just offside for me. West Ham were dictating the game, they were controlling the game, they were causing United problems. Uh, they had United on the back foot. United had a wake-up call, we started the game slow. We were slightly but surely fighting back into the game. Not many chances were created. Tactically, United are not solid in defence. The final third is still a struggle. United are not clinical in front of goal. United don't have any desire, the passing is sloppy. We're giving away too many mistakes. We're being intercepted and just giving away the possession. Where was the game plan? Where's plan B? West Ham push on, keep going as a team. The next minute, West Ham score. Once they got the second goal, I knew it was game over for Manchester United. Unless we played like we played against Man City, where we came 2-0 behind and we won 3-2. We could all see that that was not happening in the second half. Once they got the third goal, it sort of killed the game and that was it. It was finished. At one stage, I couldn't really figure out what formation we were playing. Puts McTominay in defence, doesn't play in defence. To be fair, shocking game, shocking performance, shocking football. How do we change this around? We need to kick up the backside, honestly. The run now is just awful. We can't pick up where we left off from against Burnley and Watford. What I don't understand is why we're not playing the players from Burnley and Watford. If you're winning games against Burnley and Watford, start the players who you played against Burnley and Watford and see if that makes a change. I think it does because when you make several changes all the time, it ain't going to work because they practically haven't played together. Whatever is more comfortable for the players, they will get on with each other. And practically, he dropped Lingard. Obviously, yes, Sanchez has not been playing because he's not been playing great football. To be fair, if Mourinho is stuck for words and runs out of excuses, he's definitely going to be leaving. That's why we can't just have the balls to say that to Jose Mourinho. Just get out and just leave the doors open, just go. We can't say that to him because they're trying to still back him to the end of the season. They still have that belief in him. They still believe in Jose Mourinho that we can get back up. We can't get back up. Look where we sat at the minute. We sat 10th in the league. We're a team that have got very good players and we sat 10th. Why are we sat 10th? Because we've dropped so many f***ing points. We can't put our teams to bed because we come into all these games. Oh, yes, lads, come on. Yeah, we can, we can win this f***ing game. We can't win the game. We are underestimating teams. They can't get on with it. Honestly, there's something wrong with it. There's something wrong with the tactics. And if you can't put his tactics to perfection, then what's plan B? Simple as. Let's have one positive in this game. Rashford scored. Who was the best player that played out there? Rashford. He brought the game back to life. When you score a goal, the game's completely different because the game's back on. We couldn't even find a second goal. We were all around them in the second half. To be fair, we do deserve to lose this game because... You know, we're coming off a loss again. It pretty much sums up the whole entire week for Manchester United last week. we come off a loss against Derby County. And now we're coming off a loss to West Ham. What needs to change? Defence. Just find a right mix for it. I think you need to drop Lindelof. He's just not playing at his standard. Maybe drop Smalling as well. Uh, see if that's a difference. Pogba, uh, World Cup winner. Still can't show his talent that he's got. Getting cowed by Mark Noble and Declan Rice when he's clearly a World Cup winner. Oh man, it's just terrible at the minute. They need to change it. And if we can't change this, we, um, we're we seriously going to be... Uh, I don't know. I'm stuck for words. I'm stuck for words because... But at the end of the day, we're coming off another loss. Let's talk about the substitutions and let's talk about the ones got taken off. Lindelof went off for Rashford. Talk about Lindelof's performance. All over the place again and only starting matches by default. Yamalenko's effort leaped in off Lindelof, who is overdue a demotion. Pogba went off for Fred. Talk about Pogba's performance. Individual elastic and selfish. He was cowed by Mark Noble and Declan Rice. 
Might be a World Cup winner, but it's not world class at the moment. Some you tuted. Martial went off a matter. Talk about Martial's performance. Showed a decent intent, but was unable to have any influence in a front two with Lukaku. Substituted with 20 minutes left. Seriously needs to change now. We're playing Newcastle next. Newcastle, they've got some very good players, I must admit. Newcastle are coming off a loss as well against Leicester. They've got some very good players in there, so they'll be up for it. And last time round we beat them 4-1 at United, so we need a result against Newcastle. If we don't get a result against Newcastle, it's clearly Jose Mourinho out. I think give it another two games if we have a better week this week then we're making progress but if we don't make progress this week clearly needs to leave on my behalf and we just need to hope we're for a better result and if we can't come away with a result against newcastle i think it's time for Mourinho out and bring in zinedine zidane so i hope you guys have enjoyed another video be sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in a video in the next couple of days and peace <laughs>